For many people, breakfast is the most neglected meal of the day. However, when you have diabetes, that's really not a great option. Having a proper breakfast is a must. Want to know why and what morning meal options are the best when you have diabetes? Then keep watching this video. I got you covered. Okay, why is it important for people with diabetes to eat breakfast? Well, when you have diabetes, your blood sugar can get out of control. That's why it's important to make sure you don't go hungry for too long, which will lower blood sugar levels, leave you shaky, and later on may result in overeating. So remember, the first meal of the day sets the tone for how you'll feel as the day progresses. So is it okay for people with diabetes to skip breakfast? The answer is clear and simple. No, it's not okay. What is the best breakfast for a person with diabetes to eat? Well, now that we're clear that breakfast should ideally not be skipped, let's talk about what's the best breakfast option for people with diabetes. Now, the answer to this lies in the kind of diet you and your healthcare team have chosen. There are a number of diets that work well for diabetes patients, those with or those prone to hypertension or heart-related conditions. So the best breakfast foods for diabetes can be found within specific diets. Now, don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean you need to go on these diets. These are only the breakfast options and inspirations from them that are healthy and really good for people with diabetes. So breakfast option number one is from the so-called DASH diet. If you've never heard about it, the DASH diet or the dietary approaches to stop hypertension primarily deals with lowering or managing hypertension. So it's also extremely beneficial for people with both type one and type two diabetes. Firstly, include eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, at least half a plate per meal, mainly because they contain potassium, which helps control blood pressure. Secondly, include foods that are rich in calcium. It's very important for blood vessel health, enabling the vessels to function normally and maintaining healthy blood pressure. Calcium is found in dairy, eggs, fish, yogurt, tofu, or spinach. Thirdly, try to keep sodium intake levels low at around 2.3 grams per day. When you cook at home, try using low sodium salt. And when you go out to eat, look for the nutrients list for each menu item before ordering, or simply ask for low salt and low fat dishes. Now to make it easier for you, I have a few DASH diet breakfast examples to help get you started. Example number one, wild mushroom oatmeal with herbs. This dish is a savory and robust meal with eggs, wild mushrooms, scallions, lemon juice, pepper, rosemary, olive oil, and a dash of low sodium sea salt. Example number two, grilled banana split fruit salad. Mix that salad together with raspberries, Greek yogurt, pineapple chunks, strawberries, almonds, and a dash of semi-sweet dark chocolate. This dish is packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals to fuel your day. Example number three is scrambled eggs, spinach, mushrooms, and feta cheese. This recipe can be amped up with more fresh veggies like tomatoes, olives, bell peppers, or onions for a flavor-filled breakfast. Okay, before moving forward, check the link below this video where you'll find an amazing tool for managing diabetes. You definitely need to check it out. Now let's move on to breakfast option number two, which is from the keto diet. With the keto diet, you limit carb intake to a minimum and increase fat intake. So what do you need to keep in mind with this eating pattern? Well, you need to have less than 20 grams of carbs per meal, increase proteins to at least 10 grams, and add in good fats. Here are some great keto-inspired breakfast examples. Example number one, egg muffins with lean turkey bacon. Yeah, you can have eggs for breakfast, only with the exception that you don't eat them every single day. Some studies say you can have two eggs a day, three to six days a week, while some studies recommend limiting egg consumption to one a day, three to four days a week. Now, whatever you choose, keep to your physician-recommended diet to stay healthy. Example number two, salmon and cream cheese wrap. Fish is an amazing source of proteins and healthy fats like omega-3 fatty acids. These are super good for maintaining your heart health. Cream cheese is the healthier alternative to cheese and mayo. Example number three, chocolate chia seed pudding with almond milk. This simple breakfast meal is packed with fiber, antioxidants, and nutrients with the creamy goodness of cocoa. And it only contains 0.2 grams of sugar and carbs. Okay. Now breakfast option number three is from the Mediterranean diet. 
This diet is based on eating as much fresh and seasonal produce as possible. This includes whole grains such as barley or wheat and heart healthy oils such as olive oil, fruits, veggies, and nuts. The Mediterranean diet calls for a wide range of natural and healthy taste enhancers such as lemon juice, garlic, salt-free herbs, and spices. For me personally, it couldn't be better. Here are a few Mediterranean breakfast examples. Example number one is maple granola. Mix oats with maple syrup, pecans, or your favorite mix of nuts and add a dash of cinnamon. This can be enjoyed as is or with a banana, milk, or yogurt. Top it off with raspberries, blueberries, or strawberries for an extra burst of vitamins and flavor, and you're good to go. Example number two is apple cinnamon chia pudding. Soak chia seeds in almond milk and top with apple, cinnamon, and pecans. That makes for a super healthy start to your day. And example number three, multigrain Mediterranean sandwich. Make it with low carb multigrain bread by adding spinach, eggs, tomatoes, and low fat feta cheese. Season it with rosemary and olive oil. Mm. And there you go. You have a hearty and satisfying breakfast meal. So all in all, whether you're cooking your own breakfast or grabbing a bite before work, make sure to keep your chosen breakfast option and you'll be good to go. Now, go check out these other videos on the Clinio channel and see you next time.